Hey guys, what's up? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. At least almost good morning. I'd like to wish you all good morning. It's 11 p.m. In one hour, it's going to be midnight. It has been raining cats and dogs. It's been cool outside in the morning time. Nice little stormy breeze. Uh, really nice. It just really inspired me to do this uh, list. I don't know how I'm going to title this. Uh, you can say noir style fragrances, cool weather fragrances, uh, when it rains, you know, rainy day fragrances, but 10 fragrance i really like to wear when it rains weather is cool breezy and these are fragrances usually i would not use on sunny days when it's warm sweating and then you know humidity is high i'm not going to reach for these fragrances but these are some of the dark fragrances which are really nice i reviewed one and i'm going to upload that side by side with this video which is going to be a fragrance world fragrance it's going to really surprise you okay uh, and apart from them some new some new some old fragrances so let's start I'm going to start with one uh, of my favorite fragrance, which I don't show that much on videos anymore because it's already known. People know this, but again, good old days. This is Club New Intense Man. The name is in there. You know, it's in the name. It's a dark fragrance. Uh, you can say <clears throat> daytime, nighttime, any part of the year you can wear it. It's the signature scent worthy. It's like one fragrance does it all, like Dior Sauvage, Dylan Blue, that sort of a deal. And it's a, you know, people call this the best alternative to Creed's Aventus. So there are different versions, EDT, EDP. And then I think they have perfume, oil, limited edition, uh, alcohol, so alcohol free edition, a lot of editions. But for me, the best value is 200 ml of this fragrance. I think this is the biggest bottle. Maybe there's three, 400, I don't know also. But if you can get like EDP, 200 ml, best price versus value. And this smells really nice still. It's familiar, but it's really good for night out in uh, this kind of cold weather for me okay next one i'm gonna go is a really really nice fragrance okay the name is in there this azaro wanted by night uh, this fragrance you know when i tested it at first i reviewed it i did not give it the best <laughs> review i said it's not bad but there's tons of fragrances smells like that you know it's not the most unique fragrance i think it's tobacco or something there's booziness some sweetness some freshness but uh after while, afterwards you know when i tested it more and more from a decan i think this fragrance has great performance that really makes uh, a good impression because many fragrance do not last nowadays uh, this one is the meat budget perfume from azaro and i think you can buy a big 150 mil that is the best value uh, you can give it a try it's a good dating fragrance as well really smells good in cold weather and rain next let's go with boss boss bottle oud uh, this bottle is just drop dead gorgeous this is the most beautiful looking bottle from this line in my humble opinion the copper and then brown color uh, makes it kind of like an oud posh elegant looking bottle very beautiful so this is a bit more expensive than other boss bottle but so worth it after boss bottled you know i have a lot of flankers that i reviewed and this is in my top three or top five all the time spiced apple and they say they use real oud i just will say spicy woody and that uh, beautiful spiced apple with the cinnamon that is what's great about it. it smells so good when the breeze is cool it lasts a long time it's a perfect fragrance for colder setup and it's very up class like versace noir i would say as far as i would say creed's royal oud it's in that family you know uh, if you like tom ford's oud wood beautiful fruity woody fragrance woody fragrance oud woody fragrance okay boss bottle oud next one is the one i just reviewed and i think you should take a look at it this is the most affordable in this line today and uh one of the best smelling ones okay this is fragrance world nakid okay and i think there are reviews out already but if you haven't seen try this fragrance out this is a nice little uh i would say um alternative to late and exclusive by perfume de marley i don't own perfume de marley late and exclusive because it's expensive but i do have late and i can tell you it's somewhere between the late and late and exclusive uh, it's not as of course big of a fragrance but this fragrance is i would say um like perfect fragrance for the budget okay when cool weather comes you know if it's raining a little bit this is such a nice fragrance to wear i uh, definitely give it a try anakid check out my review which will be up by tonight great perfume for that price next one a winner this is mercedes-benz club black everything has dust man i'm so sorry and i love this bottle as well very cool looking bottle really nice smelling uh, this fragrance is something boozy vanilla okay playful sexy long lasting i heard this continue so i got a backup of this this is the bottle and i'd say if you like fragrances like roca's mustache edp like which is tuxedo clone this is in the same ballpark but this is something like gerland's a spiritus de bouveni or du bouveni double vanilla okay that kind of uh, uh dna but on its own run it's a great fragrance definitely check it out and i think um, 
missions or the missions cologne is also similar to this but this one is longer lasting mercedes benz club black this is definitely crowd favorite so next let's go bit noir theme this is valentino vomo noir absolute this is a discontinued gem i don't think it's available anywhere if it is it's gonna cost you 150 dollars plus um is this a special one yes it is at the same time it's not as safe as blind buy there's a nice sandalwood note very beautiful darkness about it the chocolatiness of the uh, two is there but the iris play is not as safe okay so this one it's something goes in the direction of something like black orchid family or uh, something like dark you know mysterious night out fragrances and i do have a little more intense vomo aqua those fragrances are great but this is the next level you can consider a niche line of valentino vomo uh, valentino vomo noir absolute next one i'm gonna say it's one of my um, <clears throat> most rich fragrances uh, during winter this is hard to find nowadays one million preview some people said this is still available i don't know i don't see it that much in the market like prada amber these ones are getting a bit hard to find um why i like this just like you know some of the other ones this is also kind of like the sweet it also has the tobacco but it's so beautiful when i wear this it gives me the feel of a pure heaven a little bit okay when i wear this it got the cherry i think man it reminds me of low medial uh extreme no so low medial edp it reminds me of those fragrances it's very very sweet like pure heaven um, but it has the masculinity it has a little bit of sophistication not as loud as one million but lasts a long time definitely check it out perfect office wear if you want to wear something for the rainy days one million preview by pakura ban next one i'm gonna go is my favorite fragrance currently on the most worn fragrances this is that uh invictus giant bottle of the vampire okay this is called pakura ban i always forget the names pakura ban invictus victory elixir okay elixir you see the blue bottle at the base and it's dark up top this is so worth it you know you see pakuraban i'm a big fanboy of pakuraban i have almost everything from this house in recent times and i like to review them because they're sweet long lasting pure access access this line one million line lot of fragrance line they're great okay so uh give me a second yeah sorry so i was saying this is one of my favorite fragrances because it gives me the feel of mango okay i love the mango note in this it's sweet it's fruity it's tropical beast mode when i spray this i'll tell you one thing when i spray this this fragrance projects and in cold weather setup it just like the scandal by night or scandal sorry scandal perfume le perfume these fragrances this is also great i am eager to buy lebo le perfume and also lamal elixir once i get those i'll review those i'm thinking those are going to be champions as well but this is such a beautiful perfume definitely sample this okay if you like sweet fragrances so that is uh Pakuraban Invictus Elixir. Next one is my scent of the night. I'm wearing this right now, Bulgari Man in Black. And this version is called All Black Edition. You can see from the bottle. These are very hard to find. These are gonna cost you like a kidney. <laughs> but I love this fragrance because I love the original DNA. The origin on this, if you already already have the original, you don't need this. But the performance is like one or two hours more from this. I enjoy this spicy like this manly masculine uh, vibe okay there's this pepper and there's tobacco i think there's a rum booze all those combinations and also has tuberose but it's a little bit more spicy than uh the regular man in black if you have this fragrance on you man colder nights uh i will tell you one thing it gets compared to like spice bomb in a way but spice bomb is not as pungent as this one this and spice bomb extreme can be compared but i love this fragrance this is one of the most masculine fragrance i ever smell one of my signature scents okay try it out bulgari's man in black you can get the man in black itself is a good fragrance so number one today this is what makes me interested in this fragrance and make me do this video as well this fragrance was uh sent to me by one of the pages here like mmc luxury perfumes and uh, it was a gift for my birthday thing okay and uh, this is one of the fragrances rasas's line that not many people know about this is actually called uh let me show you the bottle it's all written in arabic so it's hard for me to remember the name but i'll tell you the name is uh somo al rasasi mali okay mali okay so mali maybe is uh i don't know where it's uh referring to but uh that's where maybe they're referring to of the for the ingredients this is the name take a screenshot somo al rasasi mali so these ones i think cost about 100 something dollars okay expensive and these are bottle sizes of uh, 100 mil okay so 
um, if you take those previous nine fragrances and add their performance, that's what you're gonna get from this fragrance, okay? Longevity is eternal. This line, and you see the bottle, man, this is so sweet. It has a feel of uh, Abdul Samad Al Qureshi uh, Safari Extreme, if you know that fragrance. It's similar to many, it's a floral, it's a bee smoked, sweet, floral, oud. Uh, kind of fragrance but also has this vanilla quality like powdery thickness man this fragrance just continues to push half a spray will last you half the day okay if you have this like if you spray like five times on your shirt or something you enter a club nobody's gonna smell anything else but you okay you just need literally like two sprays of it it will last forever um cool weather setup once again rainy nights it's something i would reach for very special fragrance for special moment great fragrance great siage it lasts and continues to project for hours okay so somal rasa si mali uh, so that's the 10 fragrance that i have for you today thanks for watching and do try them out get a sample if you haven't tried uh, they will work out fine for this kind of setup have a nice day thanks for watching see you soon bye bye